I swear I forgot to take my shoes off for things direction. We were already filming and it looks like I just want to stop and take my shoes off. All right, folks, coaches Chris and Don here. Uh, update last week, Don forgot to take her shoes off for pin stretch, all right? But then I told her her feet stank and uh, just. I'll help broke loose. Uh, anyway, I tried to make a joke there. It didn't come off. Anyway, so today for Ken Stretch, we are going to be working. We're going to focus. This class is going to focus heavily on shoulders, right? We're going to work on our shoulder capsule, internal, external rotation. We're also going to work on the rib cage, which will be fun. Um, and then we're going to round out by working on our kind of our, our hip flexion, okay? Or our ability to touch our toes or do a, a kind of like a front split. So it's going to be an action-packed class. Um, what we're going to need for this class is a yoga block, two tennis balls, and a stick of some kind. Certainly, you can use like a broomstick or whatever you have available to, but you, we could sub all of these things, but ideally you have them. Um, I, I, do, I am going to include some links of where you can buy this stuff pretty cheaply. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start um, with just a little bit of Shoulder work here, okay? We're gonna start with some axial rotations, all right? We're, gonna, we're just gonna do some simple things to warm our shoulder up, okay? Let's, let's assume that you're starting from the very beginning, like you have shoulder pain, like stuff hurts. This is where I would begin. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a partial car, all right? And these are called capsular cars. So we're gonna take our tennis ball, we're gonna press our back into the ground, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach for the ceiling, okay? I'm gonna push my shoulder, push the ball away from the ground, and I'm just gonna rotate in and out, okay? I wanna, I wanna just think about, I breathe in, I exhale, I rotate. Continuing to breathe, continuing to keep our back in the ground. Again, we're just trying to walk the elbow out and rotate. We're gonna start here at about, uh, I'd say, 50 degrees maybe. We're gonna do this for about 20 seconds. And then we're just gonna move up a little bit. Okay, so we're a little bit further overhead. Okay, and what we're doing here is we're just like pushing away from the, um, we're pushing away from, or actually we're pushing towards the wall. We're trying to clear out some space in our shoulder capsule, meaning like when we get, when we lack stability, what, what happens is the body has a strategy where it kind of pulls the bones together um, to create kind of what it's called just bony stability. And that is one of the things that creates joint impingement, which is just the, um, the, what you feel, you know, when you start to feel like pinching during a shoulder car. All right, so now from there, we're just gonna do some partial cards here. So we're on our back, all right, hands in the ground. We're just gonna circle around like this, okay? So we do a circle, we come back around. We do a circle, we come back around. We're just gonna do this for about one minute here. All right, how's this feeling, Don? Okay. Back in the ground. That's the hard part. If you want to get a little bit more core or to keep your back on the ground, we can come to a dead bug position here. So let's try a couple with our feet off the ground. Just open our shoulder up. Open for business, the shoulder. Your shoulder isn't open for business, you've got problems. All right, so we're just going to do a couple more here. One more. And then we're just going to switch sides. All right, so again, let's just change our arms here. Let's push our hand up towards the ceiling here, and let's just rotate. By gripping the ball and kind of pressing your back into the ground, as well as digging your heels to the ground and kind of feeling your hamstrings, we kind of get everything alignment. That's exactly what we want. We just try to create some rotation in our shoulder, get good movement, and all our, our dreams will come true, which is why I'm here. All right, now, let's come a little bit further overhead. Again, just try to push away from the ground. Dig your heels back towards your butt, to your hamstrings. And again, just think about things that make you happy. Don, what's something that makes you really happy? Baking cookies. Don makes really good cookies. If anybody uh, wants some, we are going to have a bake sale for Don's trip to China. So, all right, so we're just going to knock out a couple shoulder cars here. Let's start coming around. Then why do you want to go to China? I want to walk on the Great Wall. And is the Great Wall going to be closed soon? 
They're talking about it. You heard it here, folks. You don't get to China soon. The Great Wall might be closed. And Don might have broken it when she walked on it. Because she's really strong. She likes to jump on things. Don, when you think about knocking out some push-ups on the Great Wall. I might do that. Just for you. Thank you. All right, let's just do two more here. We're going to do one more. All the way through. And all the way back around. All right, so now we're going to come on to our side. I'm just going to come into a sideline position here. I call this the, uh, the Baywatch position. All right, and again, what we're going to do here, very similar. Okay, we're just going to push our shoulder out to the side here. We're going to abduct. We're just going to start with it just right above, stacked right above our side. And I'm going to turn, um, I'm going to turn back this way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to bring it a little bit further back and do the same thing. Okay, so we're just challenging our shoulder in different vectors. We're going to bring it even further down. Okay, so bring it down as far as you can. And just notice what the differences feel like. Is it easier as you get that further down, or is it easier as you're kind of up here like that? Much easier at the top. Yeah, for me it's easier at the top as well. Because what we're doing is we're actually canvassing the range of our shoulder car. This is like driving down like this is kind of like our extreme in-range motion. All right, now let's get it over our head like this. Let's just kind of start up here. Let's start away. So this is what we do when we make the shoulder car easier, right? Like we make smaller circles. As we get better at it, let's bring it down a little bit closer to our head. The shoulder car becomes bigger. So we make bigger circles until, let's get as close to our ears as we can. We can make the biggest circle possible. And the key here is that as I'm doing this too, I'm just feeling this in my shoulder. I'm not necessarily feeling this like in my neck or in my, my upper trap. And if you do, find the range where you don't. All right, so let's keep rotating here. And then let's just do three shoulder cars around. So let's start on our side. And let's get it as close to those like outer ranges as we possibly can. And for me, as I go through this, I'm feeling it really just concentrated in my shoulder. Like it's fatiguing for sure, but that's okay because I know that it's, you know, it's working in the right place. And now if it's not, if you're feeling it other spots, like your, um, your neck, for example, make the circle smaller. All right, let's switch sides. Okay, again, so let's start at the top here. Pushing the shoulder away, just making circles. How's this feeling, Dawn? Feels better on this side. Yeah? Yeah. In what way? It's easier on this side. Mm. Like not as much fatigue? Yeah. And again, folks, there you have it. I want you to kind of pay attention on to one side versus the other. The side that feels weaker or feels like it doesn't have as much control, let's bring it back a little bit. That's the side that you want to focus on. For me, it's this side. But again, this, this class, one of the big things to take away from this class is that you want to focus on the thing that matters to you. Like this may do nothing for you, but this is something that if you find useful, you can incorporate into your own daily about 10 to 15 minute mobility practice. For me, I pick things that I, I've learned over the years that make me feel better, and I just kind of focus on those things in particular. All right, so now let's just bring it back overhead. And let's start up here. Let's just start to make circles here. Again, just chilling here, relaxing. Feeling it, Don? Yeah. So you, do you still feel that it's harder in that range or it's on this side? It's harder on the other side. It's harder on the other side? Yeah, this is the side that has, has the physical therapy and it's stronger. Interesting. All right, let's bring it back towards the ear a little bit more. Again, continuing to make circles. A couple more circles here. Try to keep the arm straight. One of the deviations, as you'll see, is the elbow wants to bend. Let's get it as close to the arm as we can. We're trying to bring the, the bicep to the ear. 
which would be weird, but at the same time, it'd be kind of cool because that means that you have good control of your shoulder. All right, we're just gonna do three circles around. So I'm gonna take my other hands, I'm gonna press into the ground, just get good control of my shoulder. Okay, let's do two more here. Go for one more. All right, now we've got our shoulders nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out some mobility expansion. And we're going to start in shoulder internal rotation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this position here. It's called the scarecrow position. And what this is gonna look like is it, if you, if you can't see what I'm doing here, we're in that position. So I, I'm going to start fairly low because that's going to uh, allow me to, again, kind of accommodate my internal rotation. To make this harder, we bring our elbows up towards the ceiling or up towards the wall in front of us. One thing that you'll notice is your arm is going to want to come off the ground. Like for me, it's like right here. I'm fighting to keep it on the ground. So I know that this is kind of like my in range of shoulder internal rotation. We're just gonna hang out here for a couple breaths, all right? So I just want you to hold here, just breathe and relax. Can you feel that, Don? Yep. Don, what's your favorite shoulder stretch? Cars. Why? Because it makes them feel good. It's a great reason. What's your least favorite? I don't know. She knows just what to say, folks. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands. We're going to take our hands here. We're going to try to do that motion. We're going to try to push or rotate down like that. All right, so I'm pushing down. I'm trying to just push, my, push the back of my hands into the ground. The 25% effort. We're going to build a 50% effort, 75% effort, 100% effort. We're going to hold for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to pull my palms off the ground here without my elbows leaving the ground. You're not gonna be able to do it, but we try. I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds. So 10, nine, eight, drive the elbow into the ground, hand off the ground, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Try to raise this guy up a little bit more. Just hold in this position. Definitely shaking. Feeling the stretch. What about you, Don? Mm -hmm. Very much so. Oh, very good. I love it. All right, just breathe, guys. Let the tension relax. For me on my right side, I'm trying to let my elbow let go. Just come to the ground. Which is tough. Breathe and let go. So we have movement, we have rest, and they're both important. This is rest. And one of the things that we have to do, the reason that we stretch, is not necessarily to get more flexibility, it's to tell our body to let go of tension that's holding. All right, so let's take our hands and let's start to push into the ground at 25%. Let's build a 50%, let's build a 75%, push a 100% effort for 10 seconds. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let's start to pull our hands off the ground and hold for 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Move up a little bit more. Just try to relax into this position. Breathe into it. All right, now from here, we're going to do some lift offs in this position. So I'm going to take my hands, so you can see me here. I'm going to put it behind my back. Okay, I don't want to step on Dawn, but we're going to get your hand up your back as high as you can. 
Okay, and we're going to just put the other hand in the ground like this, all right? And, and what I want to also do is think about raising my midsection off the ground. So if you think about your ribs thrusting forward into the mat, try that. Push your ribs into the ground and just feel how your – you'll feel a little bit of lower back. You'll feel maybe your ribs to some degree kind of poke out. Now I want you to pull it off the ground. Just round your back out so you feel kind of a space between the ground and your lower back. In this position, what we're going to do is we're just going to do some lift offs. And what that means is that I'm going to try to just pull my hand off of my back and just hold for about three to five seconds and drop down. Okay. So I'm going to find the highest point at which I can do that without my hand moving or compensating. I'm going to try to get more motion from the hand than the elbow. The elbow is just like my fulcrum. Let's do this together. Let's start with one. You ready, Don? Mm -hmm. Lift up and hold. And let's drop down. Once again, let's lift up and hold. Shaking. Let's drop down. Let's lift up and hold. Let's drop down. Lift up and hold. Drop down. Lift up and hold. Drop down. Lift up and hold. Drop down. One more time. Lift up and hold. Drop down. All right. Now we're going to switch sides here. And for me, this is humbling because I can get my, my left hand is so much further up my back here. I have so much better control of this side. It's crazy. So I know I need to do a little bit more on the other side. So lift up and hold. I could hold up here all day. Let's drop down. Let's lift up and hold again. Let's drop down. Let's come up. Drop down. Up. Drop down. You can also hold your tennis ball here to create a little bit more tension. For me, I'm just thinking about digging my other hand into the ground and tensing. Let's lift up. Drop down. Lift up. Drop down. Two more. Lift up. Drop down. Last one. Lift up. Drop down. All right. Now we're gonna we're going we're actually going to take our ball here. You got your ball done. You need one. I got it. Okay. So we're going to do some shoulder cars in prone here. We're going to kind of superset these two things. I'm just going to straighten my arm out. I want you to just lift it up. We're going to make a big circle around here. Keep it as close to our body as possible. Big circle around and come back. We're just going to do four of these. Again, try to turn my arm as I do this. Keeping my midsection off the ground here. Two more to go. Each one I'm trying to just grind in a little bit more. Last one up, around and through. And then up, around and back down. And we're gonna hit the other side. All right, so again, finding my midsection. Let's lift up, start to come around. And for me again, my, my uh, left shoulder feels way more fluid as far as the way it's moving. And that's just kind of telling me one of the reasons we do cars is to kind of scan our shoulder and see where we don't necessarily have range of motion, what side needs a little bit more work. For me, it's definitely my right. I'm gonna do two more here. What side's easier for you, Don? The right side. It wasn't the right answer. Oh, Sorry. No, I'm kidding. It was a right, right side joke. Play on words, you get it? I got it. One more? Yeah. Oh, last one. Back around. Whew. We're going to shake our arms out here for a second. Take Three a little break. Three have you did on my to. right shoulder work. What's that? Three have you done on my right shoulder work. Ah, oh, she's so kind. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more set on our right side to begin with here. And I notice I can get my hand on my back a little bit more here now. So again, this time I'm gonna give you guys a little challenge. We're gonna raise up, but from this position, we're just gonna extend out, hold, come back, drop down. I'm just gonna do eight of these. So let's come up, extend out. Bring it back, drop down, lift up, extend out, drop down, lift up, extend out, 
drop down, let's do three more here. Up, extend, down, start to kill me. Up, mm -hmm. then drop down. Last one, up, hold, extend, hold, back, hold, drop. Oh. All right, just gonna do the other side here. Getting hot in here, Don. All right, so here we go. Get as high up your back as you can. All right, let's start to get tight. On three we go. One, two, three, up. Extend out. Hold, bring it back. Coach! Through. Bring it back up. Extend out. Drop down. Bring it back. Up. Extend out. Slap me in the face, though. That's fine. Okay. Get back, drop down, up, extend out, bring it back, drop down, three more, up, extend out, bring it back, drop down, last two, up, extend out, bring it back, drop down, last one, up, extend out, bring it back, drop down. Good job, everybody. All right, now, one more set of these shoulder cars. Let's rock this thing. Hands in the ground. Let's get tight. Let's work on this together. All right, find your abs. Let's lift up. Start to do a shoulder car. Let's lift up. Start to come back around. I'm gonna knock out four of these here. One more to go. We're almost there. Should come back around. Oh, lovely. All right, let's hit this other side here. So, arms straight. Let's lift it up. Let's come around, through, come back around, and through, up and around, back and through. Two more to go, up and around, back and through. Last one, up and around, back and through. Oh, that was awesome. All right, so we can come off of our face here. I'll be back momentarily, I'm just gonna turn the air on. Get a little hot in here. Coach. Bye guys. Coach, you're done already? The coach is out of the building. All right. So now we're going to move to shoulder external rotation. All right. So we're going to sit either in um, collapsed kneeling, or if, or if that's a problem, we can be in tall kneeling, or you can even stand. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our sticks. We're going to hold them like Mr. Miyagi here. Okay. So I'm holding my stick with one hand. I'm going to take the other hand and I'm going to try to put it on the hand like I'm like tipping it like that. All right. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm just pulling the stick towards my knee and so it's it's basically we're doing that we're externally rotating our shoulder to the point where you you feel a stretch yeah. can you feel that done yes I can we're just gonna breathe in this position for a minute stick is this is one of the shoulder external rotation is a more difficult stretch for me as in finding the stretch but I really like the stick because I find that it kind of fixes me into the right position so you need one of these sticks go down to your local PVC pipe store which you know of course they're all over the place or a hardware store both of them you know either one you're going to find most major shopping plazas and uh ask for about a three foot dowel rod that's what we use so i'm going to take my fingers and i'm going to start to try to move this kind of do that motion right i'm going to start at 25 percent effort i'm going to move to 50 percent effort 75 percent effort push at 100 percent effort for 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm just going to pull back as far as I can. At the same time, I'm going to try to actively kind of contract into that range by pushing my hand towards the floor for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I love it. Don looks like a samurai. What's up, Roger? 
All right, now we're just going to switch sides here. All right, I'm going to we're, we're going to take this guy here. We're going to grab it with our hands. Oops, I should know how to do my own stretch here. And we're just going to pull out the point where we feel stretch here. Okay, and what I'm doing is I can also um, pin my um, pin the stick into my leg here to kind of feel the stretch to push out a little bit further on this side. The key here too is that the arm isn't going out. It's just more the elbow, right? So I'm holding here and I'm just breathing, all right? Feeling the stretch. Roger's got his tripod, that's gonna be good. Coach, you're still here. Holding here. Yeah. Breathing, relaxing. All right, from here we're gonna start to contract. So again, I'm gonna start to try to curl the, um, the stick, 25% effort. 50% effort, 75% effort, 100% effort for 10 seconds. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm just going to come out this way, move further out, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And just hold here, breathe. <sighs> Coach, you want to work out? Yeah. She's so much fun. All right, so we're going to take that away. All right, and from here, what we're going to do for shoulder external rotation is we're just going to knock out a couple um, cats or cars at 90-90, okay? And so uh, normal speak, that means I'm going to take my shoulder, and I want to pretend like there's like a fulcrum here. Okay, that is keeping me from doing that or coming up too far, all right? I wanna make sure that there's space in between my shoulder and my ear, meaning as I go up, I don't wanna shrug my shoulder, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate up, we're gonna rotate down. We're just gonna do this 12 times. Don and I are perfectly in sync. We are one. One with the universe. That's right. What I want you to think about is at each end range, as I'm here at external rotation, push into external rotation. Push your palm back towards the wall behind you. And now as I'm here in internal rotation, same thing, I'm pushing down. Right, knocking this out. Are you counting? I am. Okay. Got six more to go. In, that Chris County in Chris County, County, that could be, you know, that's why I always provide a range because it could be six to eight, four to six. We're always, if you train with me, you know that I'm always within two because I'll tell you to do two more. The key is that your shoulder's starting to get tired. Yes, it is. All right, now let's switch sides here. Okay, so same thing. For me, again, this side is harder to hold up. I feel a lot more clicking and popping as I do this. Although actually not today. So it must be working. What do you think, Don? Must be. Must be working. You've done this a time or two. I have. Okay, and this is just an additional kind of warm up for what we're gonna do next. Because from here, just do three more here. Again, I should feel this. One of the one of the cues that you can use uh, would be to retract your shoulder blade as you're doing this. Make sure that you're moving from the right place. Last one. Beautiful. All right. So we're gonna take our hands. We're gonna put them behind our head like this. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so everybody can see me on camera here, all right? Dylan, you can kind of watch me here. Do you see me, Dylan? I see you. Sitting nice and tall, what we're gonna do is retract our shoulder blades and pull our hands off of our head. We're gonna open up. Palms are facing here. I'm thinking about pulling my arms back towards the wall behind me. I'm gonna turn my palms to face behind me like that. I'm gonna extend my arms. Bring them up to behind my back. Don't let them drop. Start to come back around. Coach, you're still there. Bring back up. And drop down. Good. Just gonna do two more in this position. So, shoulders back. 
Again, stay nice and tall. Don't let your head pull forward here as you're doing this. Nothing moves other than your shoulders. No arching in the back, which is almost impossible in this position anyway. Again, just crossing my arms behind me as much as we can. So you extend out. Let's bring them to 90 degrees. Palms face the wall in front of you. Arms up. Hands behind the head. Last one, elbows back. Extend the arms out. Palms facing behind you. Behind the back. Extend out. Palms facing away. Bring it up. Drop down. All right, very good. And if you're doing this properly, your shoulders should be pretty tired right now. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and move on to our lower body, okay? So what we're gonna do for our lower body today is we're gonna come into a V sit position, all right? So we're gonna come into a V. We worked on this last week as well. We're gonna work a little bit more on individual legs today. So once you get your legs spread pretty wide, okay? If you're looking at my feet, don't judge me, all right? I've been, been working hard all day. I've been walking walking on the uh, you know the, the gym floor, so it gets a little dirty. But it's clean. But it's clean because it's clean. clean today. Clean today, that's right. With a, with a sock, no less. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my belly button towards my stance knee, okay? And I'm going to just lean in until I feel a stretch in my stance side, okay? Meaning this side, okay? I'm just gonna hold here. I'm just gonna breathe. What I don't wanna do is run my back, okay? You, you'll find that if I, I had a, a client who's rehabbing from a knee surgery and her, her therapist told her to bring her, her nose to her face. <laughs> I'm sorry, now that, that's probably easy to do. Nose to the knee, nose to the knee. Okay, it's hard to do in this position, but if I straighten my leg out and I just kind of sit like that, you know, I can come down much further. Point being is that I don't want you to do it that way. I want you to keep your back as flat as you possibly can. All right, now from here, what we're gonna do is point the toe down, and I'm gonna start to pull my heel back towards my body. Okay, I'm just gonna hold for 10 seconds. So pulling, pulling, pulling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna try to straighten my leg out and move further into the stretch, all right? So pulling, pulling, pulling myself in, squeeze my quad, just get a little deeper for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, relax. Shaking. Just holding, yeah. And shaking is okay. Shaking just means that your nervous system isn't really sure what to do with that new range of motion yet. It's, it's still figuring it out. So shaking is okay. But when you do shake in these positions, what I want you to do is I want you to breathe into it. Okay, don't just sit there. Breathe and relax, all right? Don't tense up because your body will tense up. And you'll just, you'll just convince your nervous system that um, – we don't need this range. It's it's not it's not what we want. So you'll you'll lose access to it, kind of bounce out of it. So I'm just trying to tell my body like, let go, relax, namaste. All right. So now we're just gonna move towards the other side here. And again, I want to find my stretch, keeping my back nice and flat. Don, can you feel the stretch there? I can. So we're just gonna breathe into this. With each breath, kind of taking my hand and I'm just letting gravity kind of gradually pull me further into this without losing my spine here. If you're really looking to get more flexible, the research says that it takes about at least two minutes in the position for like the body to actually notice that we're doing this. So you would, want, you would want to spend a pretty substantial amount of time in this position here. For our classes, we'll just hold, we just hold for about five breaths or 30 seconds and we're still making some change. But the longer you hold, the more substantial the change is going to be. So what I want you to do is we're going to pull your heel back towards your body. We're going to start at 25% effort. We're going to build a 50% effort, 75% effort, 100% effort, pull for 10 seconds. So we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. All right, for this next one, I'm going to squeeze my quad, try to extend my leg up, just pull myself deeper into the stretch for 10 seconds. So let's start to pull at 25%. Let's get a 50%, trying to lessen this space. 75%, 100%, pull for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It just holds here. Breathe. Breathing into it helps. It does. Listen to Don. Don's been doing this for a long time. Don can now do handstands. <laughs> Freestanding handstands. Yeah, I wish. In my dreams. You're in your dream right now, Don. All right. So now we're gonna do some. We're gonna play a game. We're gonna take our block here. We're actually gonna start with our legs fairly narrow. Okay. Um, we're gonna do what is called a hover challenge. Okay. With a hover challenge. I'm gonna to try to hover over the block, okay? So to, uh, what's up, Sherry? Danielle, Nicole. Um, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, and guys, come jump on in, we're just filming the class, but you're, you do your thing, all right? This is, this is actually for you. So um, hang out, maybe. foam roll. Um, but in this, in this hover challenge, what we're gonna do is, uh, and you can join in, Sherry, if you want. We're just gonna lift up, hover over the block and drop down. All right, so again, come up. Hover over the block and drop back down. Now, to make that harder, I can lean my body in. Really? Good. Yeah. To make it easier, I can just lean back. Okay. So we're gonna start super easy because we're gonna do this in a couple different ranges. I'm gonna start to squeeze my quad, lift up, move over, and drop down. All right, we're gonna do this a couple times. So let's lift up, let's come back. Guys, you can talk, it's fine. Come back. Do two more. What was that, bread mint? <laughs> Back up. Nope, but I made it. Well, hey, last one, we're gonna lift it up. Let's lift it back up and drop it back down. All right. Now what we're gonna do is you have your block here. We're gonna we're gonna challenge this by bringing your leg out here. This time, I'm gonna turn this way a little bit more so you can see me here. We're gonna do the same thing again, just at this outer range. Okay, so this is Inflection, we're just adding a little bit more abduction or like outside movement to it. We're gonna lift up, come across, and come back in. We're just gonna knock out six of these here. No, you got it right. You just put it in there like that. Two more. Mm -hmm. Just open it up like that. Diff yeah, different resistances. All right, and let's switch sides. You feeling this, Don? I am. Wow. All right, so again, let's get our legs fairly narrow for this first set here. Let's lift this up. Let's come across. And I'd like to introduce Miss Sherry Headley in the video. There you go. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry's a birthday girl. Roger, Roger. Sherry's a birthday girl this week. That's Roger. <laughs> you turned 58? That's awesome. Yeah, and I thought I turned 59. I'm like, awesome. Forgetfulness is working in your side for me. <laughs> All right, let's hold here. We're just gonna put we're just gonna put this on the outside here. So again, hands are behind us. Squeeze the quad, let's lift up. A couple times. We're just gonna do this six times here. Sherry, by the way, I Nate I gave Nathan his program today, so he should have it now. Yeah, I watched him download it. Nice. Was he there? Where were you? I went to his office. Two more. Why? I was dropping them off. Oh. Something. Well, tell him to do it. Yeah, he will. <laughs> I bet he will. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to finish with um, what is called an honest tip car. Okay. So we're going to start on our side like this. We're going to keep our legs straight. All right. So we're just going to do a minute of this on each side. Okay. So really short with the lower body today, but you can repeat that several times. We're going to bring this up towards our, our body here. We're gonna abduct as far as we can. We're gonna extend the leg behind us, and we're gonna come through like that. All right. We're just gonna do the opposite. We're gonna start to come back around like that. Extend back as far as you can. Start to turn. Don's about to kick me in the face. Thank you. I got a couple of these. 
yeah, this is a little bit harder. What I want you to do again is just try to drive this foot in this knee on the ground there. Keep going. Well, first she went to night out, then she went to the hospital. And then Josh was like, never thought maybe you would your shoulder. And I told him on Wednesday that it's going to be so bad. And we're just going to keep going here, like, guys. Oh, he had my upper respiratory infection. I'm like, bad. And I got two more. Well, I just got worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. I like coasted. And I went and they couldn't find nothing. And he was like, well, you need to put muscle in that. You put a muscle in your chest? Oh, yeah, that's I've had it before. Oh, it's mm -hmm. common. To where it's like in the sternum and yeah. the hurt. Okay, back around the Yeah. yeah. Let's do one more. She feels it. She said she feels better today, but she wants night out on in the hospital. Where did it hurt? Like, like, like there's hurt? nothing wrong with you. Where is <laughs> like, it? Like, wash my stomach. Three times. Like, shower. Oh. And pressure, like, oh, I was in there. It's right here. Yeah, it was extremely sore the other day. Which says? But before, it was hurting, like, up here. No, like, Wait, did you no. do it or did you? Who pulled their chest? Me. Good one. What'd you do? Uh, good question. <laughs> so, like, where did it hurt? Like, like the next day? Like, literally right here. Did you start it's, Yeah, and then all the way it stopped, like, right here. Very top. It's your rib cage. You, you're, you, need to, you need to figure out whether your sternum's open or closed. I'll look in a second. Hold on. That's the problem. <sighs> because every time you breathe, their sternum tips up. And then you exhale, it tips down. If it's stuck in one position, you can pull stuff up there. She didn't know how to stretch it, so Josh told her she could put foam rollers. I don't know. You can't foam roll it. Okay. He told her to stick it on her spine long way and just try to lay her arms back and stretch this. And I did not help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it actually probably made it worse. I did try. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it in a second. You didn't hear that here, folks. <laughs> I'll just edit that part out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wow. It's not getting better. One more. Last one. Great job, guys. Well, thanks for sticking with us. Give that a go. See you in the group.